Hey guys, it's StarGirl066 and welcome to the weekly upload, Weekly Wednesdays. I don't know if that's what I'm going to call them. I don't know. If people post on Wednesdays, they usually call it that, so maybe. But uh, today we are going to be doing an updated recovery video. For those of you that don't know, I posted a video on May 18th of this year, which I will link it down below which was basically a whole entire video dedicated to my two-year recovery process. Now, I actually rewatched it today, the day that I'm uh, filming this, and I could tell that I wasn't 100% all there, and I feel like since then, I have grown so much as a human being and as a woman and as a, a girl with autism spectrum disorder and anxiety and depression. I don't even put those labels on me anymore. I feel like that I am just Erin McWalters and I am proud of that because I watched that whole entire video. I mean, I obviously skipped over parts where I was like stuttering or like, um, like I already kind of knew the storyline and stuff, but I mainly looked at how I was feeling and what I was doing and all that kind of stuff. And what I noticed is that I was just, I even said in the video in the beginning that I was feeling stressed and anxious because during that time that I recorded that video that day was in the midst of a ton of chaos, which I will get into, of just... Like, my life was just going like this, and then it was just like a spiral effect of just like craziness that I thought that I was doing okay, and I was just kind of, more or less, I wasn't lying that I was getting better and stuff, like obviously we get better every single day, but at that time, the reason why I was feeling so stressed and anxious was because I was in the midst of all this crazy stuff going on which I will talk about in a second. Um, and I could also notice that I was very forgetful of some events that, like, I obviously knew of, but it was because my head was just spinning from all this crap going on in my life at that time. Um, but in that video, I gave the full backstory of what happened, and I feel like I did a pretty good job of describing the events and stuff. It just took me a little bit to figure out the beginning and then I was able to just keep going from there so if you would like the full backstory and would like to know what the heck I'm talking about before you watch this video I will link that video down in the description box below so you guys can go watch that and see what I'm kind of, kind of talking about um, and one thing before I get into the craziness that kind of happens um, I had my Riverside graduation I do have a meeting today though with one last person from there and then from there, it's, I'm on my own. I'm, it's kind of like where I've been in this, like, cocoon of all these supports and everything. And now I'm sprouting out like a butterfly. Um, I'm not 100% independent yet. Obviously, I still have my parents. And I will be getting, or I already have, a mental health, uh, caretaker person? Caregiver? I don't really know. Just kind of like my mental health person that I can go to and an autism spectrum disorder person I can go to. And then underneath them I have some other people. But now that I've kind of reduced the amount of people I'm seeing, I feel like I'm doing so much better without them, which is kind of weird. Because at that time, like, I needed them. Like, they gave me supports. Like, they were there for me. But at the same time, moving forward, I feel like now in my life, especially with it being summer and just, like, I just want to get out and like do stuff and everything and not have to be strict to appointments and such. Um, I feel like it's just perfect timing and I feel like that I'm prepared. I'm more fully prepared for fall and winter this year than I've ever felt before. Like I want to just get out as much as possible right now up until like November and then when November comes I want to have all this stuff like prepared I guess. Um, because I know what I do when it comes winter time, which is just go online and do stuff. But I want to make more plans in the winter time and have more experiences. Because if I feel like I do that, or just like have something to look forward to, I do a whole lot better. But anywho, um, 
We're going to talk more about future plans <laughs> later. But in terms of what kind of was going on with me at that time, sorry if you hear my dog, um, I was just, my head was going in circles because as you guys know, I was in a relationship at that time and the, the relationship I wasn't 100% happy with. That was my main stress and anxiety ridden thing. Like, obviously, I had stuff going on with my family, too. Like, my dad was in the hospital, and he had to get, like, surgery and stuff. And then, literally a few weeks later, my mom was in the hospital for appendicitis. And she had to get surgery, like, on the spot in one day. She was just, like, going from working with my nieces, because she's a nanny for my nieces, to going to her other job. But before she went to her other job, she's like, maybe I should get this checked out, because the night before... Um, she decided to do this, we went out to eat, and her, like, stomach area was bothering her after. We might have just thought it was a stomach ache or something, but she said it was continuing on till the next day, and thank God she went in because she had appendicitis, so she had to go from the, uh, like, urgent care right into the hospital, and then they were ready to do surgery right there, so she was in the hospital for one full day, and then back home the next day, and it was just insane, and then I had a whole week off from doing my new normal workflow because she was home so I had to take care of her and it was just craziness and it kind of all kind of happened while this video was going on like I that's why I skipped that week before was because of my mom <laughs> and I said that in the video I'm like I'm like I'm sorry I missed last week's upload I'm like Erin like I'm watching it today I'm like Erin don't be sorry like you had shit to do like you had to have priorities and obviously YouTube is a big priority but family comes first, in my opinion. Like, if anything happens with my parents, they come first. I mean, my two sisters are moved out, so they obviously have people with them at all times if they ever need help. When it comes to my parents, like, I live with them still. So, they're definitely a big priority for me. Um, so besides that whole stuff, that was stuff that I couldn't control. Like, it was more or less just stuff that just kind of happened. And I had to deal with it. And I had to work with it. And it was kind of hard. Um, so I was just kind of like getting out of that, but while all that was going on too, the relationship I had. I'm not going to go into full detail of everything that went on, but the three things that kind of happened was toxic parents, not letting go, had to block him or else I would not feel sane. Um, yeah, it was really hard to let go, but... My dogs are fighting. Great. <laughs> Anywho, they do that sometimes. Um, so the toxic parents, they were taking advantage of texting me and would literally tell me to tell their son to shower and to tell their son to put the dog out and to tell their son to make sure they schedule this appointment and they would have me figure out things for him. And he was just, like, in the middle of it, just like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna, uh, have all these people do this stuff for me and not say my opinion on it, which he probably had an opinion on it, but he just decided not to say it. And because of that, I had to block their numbers because I was just done being kind of used as a caretaker slash caregiver slash therapist slash, like, it was just a lot of roles I had with this. Like, I was happy... I was happy with us, but it was like his parents at that time. And then after the after that, I was just like, Sean, like, we need to either have your parents not control this relationship, or I'm getting out of this relationship, because I do not do well with parents controlling the relationship. That's not even like a good thing either. Like, he's 20 freaking years old. Like, why do you let your parents control your life? Like, I used to feel that way because I had to, because I had a guardianship and I had a lot of mental health issues going on. Maybe that's what he was going through. I feel like in my heart deep, because I know I was, I knew him so well, he needed that. But instead he would use me as that support system to get all that stuff done. Which was ugh, very, very like, 
a big weight on my shoulders on top of like my family stuff, my work stuff, my other stuff going on. It was just not healthy. And then when it came to actually breaking up with him, because I broke up with him obviously, he would just not let go. Like I broke up with him in terms, and I was just like, we can still talk, like we can still check in with each other and all that. Um, and this all kind of happened in the beginning of June. Um, but all throughout May is when the toxic stuff happened. And yeah, it was just, ugh. And then finally got to a point where I had a phone call with his parents. And that's where it kind of just escalated into a bigger thing than it already was. And I was very upset by the things his dad was saying about me, about my family and all that. I'm not going to give details, obviously. But it just really upset me to the point that I just needed to let go. And I needed to just let it be. And I needed to move on. So I was the one that broke up with him that day. And I, I told him, like, you can still message me every once in a while. But for right now, like, I just need a break from you. <laughs> Like, because we still had that friendship bond. It was weird. Like, we had that friendship bond, but because of his parents, they caused us to break up. But at the same time, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, like, let it stop. So, like, he was a part of it, too. It was very confusing. But he was not letting go. He would try to message me every single day, like, wanting me to come back to him, wanting me to do this, wanting me to do that. And it was kind of like a temptation in my life where I'm just, like, I was happy but because of his parents and because of him letting his parents do this, like, I wanted to let go. But I'm like, oh, all the memories and, like, oh, I miss him and all that kind of stuff. And then there was a side of me that's like, Erin, wake the fuck up. Like, you don't want to go back to that. You don't want to do that. So, moving forward, at the end of June, I was done. I was just like, Sean, you're just, you're taking advantage. Like, I told you you could just check in on me and whatnot. And, yeah, it was just awful. So, I blocked him on everything. And I do not regret it because I cannot deal with that. Like, on top of my other shit. Like, I'm not going to take over your shit for you. And it was just bad. So that was kind of the reason why I was feeling so stressed and anxious. My biggest trigger at that time was Sean and his parents. Moving forward, though, uh, currently in my life, so July has been such a better month than May. Like, June was getting better. It was just hard with Sean at my ear or on my phone all the time. And then I had to block him and stuff, but... Other than that, like, my slip, it was like June was like more of a month, and I have to change my thing, I just realized, because it's not June anymore, I just realized on my bulletin board. Anywho, um, June was more or less like a healing month, like a stepping stone month into what July is, and July for me is one of the best months I've had in a long time, and I couldn't be more proud of myself, I couldn't be more, like, the fact that I went from that other ex that I talked about from October, and we were together, and then he just wouldn't let go, and I was constantly battling with him, and I learned from that when it came to this past ex relationship with Sean, and I learned that I need to let go, I cannot deal with the toxic energy anymore, and that carried on with me into July. Um, I started to gain more of a social life now, and I'm kind of seeing somebody. <laughs> I can't talk much about him because I don't know how much he wants to share on my YouTube and such. He's a subscriber on here. He's one of my recent ones. He actually got me to 100 subscribers, so thank you. Um, but yeah, we're seeing each other. I'm not going to tell you guys, like, much about it because I don't want to jinx it. Like, I know nothing bad is going to happen. Like, him and I have a really good, like, solid foundation when, they, when it comes to things. But I don't want to jinx things. I just want to, like, take... I just want to go with the flow with this new relationship <laughs> in my life. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to share too much 
about it. I even put like a winky face to kind of be like, I'll mention it to you, but I'm not going to give a bunch of details <laughs> until later on, until I'm like, I'm going to wait a, a month or two at least, um, until I fully share him and stuff. Maybe he'll be in the next vlog, who knows, but, <laughs> anywho, um, I've gained more of a social life too, I've been talking to better friends, I let go of friends that were just, like, not doing much for me, um, and just letting go of the toxic in general, like, I've just been letting go of things that know that bring me harm, and instead doing things that make me happy. And I'm inspired to create more. I have so many more ideas for this channel, for my Star Sketch channel. And, yeah. And I've been getting outside more, which has been, like, so good for, like, my mental health, obviously physical health. Like, I've been walking my dogs every day, unless it rains. I'm not one to go outside when it rains uh, very often, unless I have, like, plans with somebody. But uh, I don't, like, exercise in the rain or go out of my pool in the rain or something. But that's what I've been doing is every day that it's sunny out so like today for example i will definitely be doing this is walking my dogs my dog teddy is kind of like my warm-up because he just kind of likes to go up and down the street and then my dog henry and i take a two mile walk through the center of my town and i've been doing this since the beginning of april and i love it like i keep talking about it on my snapchat story and i feel like my friends are kind of annoyed by it but my dog, Henry, is just a warrior for walking the two miles with me pretty much every day unless it rains, so. Um, and spending most time online. I have been stopped trying to find friends online, and I've just been kind of being content with how life is right now, and reaching out to the people that do bring me joy, and making plans with them and everything. So, I kind of wrote down five things, I thought I thought I did six, but it was five things of my future plans for, this, for the next six months that I'll briefly kind of go into into this video. I want to digitally publish a coloring book. I have reached out to Kayla Nicholson, my favorite YouTuber, about digitally publishing a YouTuber coloring book, but she hasn't gotten back to me which I totally understand. So if it doesn't happen this year, it's okay. I'm going to work on my own uh, coloring book. And yeah, so I definitely want to digitally publish a coloring book, whether it's Utober or whether it's just my own. And I think most likely it'll just be my own because now it's getting close to August and stuff. And I just don't know how much time I'll have to have the Utober thing. But if she replies back, and I'll definitely be working on that as well. Um, and I'm going to definitely start doing my own coloring book. And I'm going to be finalizing the website. If you guys don't know, I posted on my Instagram, which I made a new Instagram. And I would like everyone on here to follow it. So I will have the name in the description box. But I will also have the link of my new blog in the description box. Because my last blog website was just not working. Um... So I moved it to Weebly, and it's so much better, and I love the layout of it right now, and I think you guys would like it too. And I posted a new blog post on there, so if you guys want to go check it out, link will be in the description box. But I'm going to make that into a Star Sketch website, because what my plan is, is that I want to rebrand my YouTube channels. I don't want this to be Stargirl066 anymore, I want it to be Erin McWalters, and then I want it to be the other one being Star Sketch, where it's like my art world in my life world, or lifestyle world, or planning world, I don't know, that's where I'm at right now, um, that's my plan over the next six months, is to kind of, I kind of moved on from Stargirl 066, it's kind of a mouthful to say, and I want it to be kind of like a vlog style, like sit down vlog style videos on here, and then Star Sketch is more of like the creative side, so, um, Sunday school improvements. I am a Sunday school teacher, for those of you that don't know, and I want to improve on just communication with my parent, with the parents of the kids that I teach, and I want to put out an actual, like, newsletter every week so then parents, not only parents, but, like, the whole congregation can kind of know what's going on with Sunday school, 
and just overall probably do a new curriculum this year. I, I got a thing in the mail at church, so I'm going to look through that. And I want to travel. Like, I know that's kind of random, but I want to travel more. I already have plans to go to Vermont with my family in a couple weeks, which I will definitely vlog that with this camera and take pictures and all that and create it into, like, a little video for you guys. Um, and I want to go on more day trips um, with my friends and such. And I want to go to New York. I know that's, like, really random. I've, I've, I've been to New York before, but I've always wanted to go like at the end of like September I don't know why I just always have like a weekend in New York sounds really fun like to just explore the cafes and just explore New York in general so I hope I can make that happen but yeah so that's kind of my little recovery update video for you guys I'm not really sure what I'm gonna title this but you'll see the title anyways Kind of getting you guys to be more aware of what happened in that video, what currently is happening, and what my future plans are. So I'm so excited that I am back into like the flow of things with my YouTube and such. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I am going to edit this video now because I am recording this on Wednesday because the vlog I took sucked. <laughs> So, I'm going to edit this and upload it to you today on Wednesday, July 10th. I forgot the date for a second. I had to look on my iPad. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, little stars. Mwah.